Hi guys! In this tutorial, I'll show you another awesome feature in Marvelous Designer 5.5, and that is symmetric sewing. Symmetric sewing cuts down the time that you need to sew your clothes by half, because whatever you do on one side of your clothes gets mirrored onto the other side perfectly. So you don't need to think, oh, I might have done one side the length a bit differently than the other side, or that side got twisted suddenly and it's untwisted and that seam over there is different than that side because I did it wrong or something, you know? Because now whatever you do on one side is the same on the other. So how do we use symmetric sewing? Well, basically you just need to have a symmetric pattern, a clothing item made of patterns that have symmetry on them, I mean. And as you can see, these patterns are symmetric to each other by that blue line. These are symmetric to each other. And these ones here, you can see, are symmetric to each other as well. So you don't really need to do anything different than what you've been doing so far, sewing things. Just take your free sewing tool, your segment sewing, whichever one you prefer to use. And then just, I'm going to hold down shift and sew this using one to end sewing. And then when I let go, if we lift this one up, we can see both sides are sewn. This side was sewn, and then because that's symmetric to that one, this one got sewn onto the other sleeve hole. And if I segment sew these together, these ones automatically get sewn too. And by segment sew these together, this does not sew automatically because that's the center and behaves a bit differently. So we need to sew those. But if I sew one of these shoulders um, straps here together, you can see the other side got sewn as well. Now let's see our sewing. You can see usually when we use one to N sewing, which is when we hold shift and we sew and it sews from one segment line onto two evenly, like it did here for the sleeve. Usually we get a point in the center that we can separate these seams if we wanted to, adjust them and like make one a bit shorter, the longer, if we decide that it's not the right thing for it to be here in the center and we want this seam to be shorter so it gathers up a bit more, you know, different kinds of clothes, you want to do different things to them. But now when we symmetric sewed it, we can't go Moving it, if we move it, you can see the whole thing moves as one. And there's just a blue point, it's under that, here in the end and a blue point here, and no blue point in the center, which was the usual thing with the regular kind of sewing before, symmetric sewing. But no worries, we can split these. All we have to do is right click and say unlink M to N sewing, which is what this thing is called. Unlink M to N sewing. And there we've got now our two colors. and we can select that seam line pair. And it's a little bit buggy right now, I'm on a beta, so it's hard to separate them. I'll have to just slide this down a bit and then drag that up. And there you can see what I was talking about before, about having these two separate seams that we can manipulate. So again, if you have this one seam thing and you want to divide it, just right click, unlink. Now, aside from symmetric sewing, there's also another very, very cool sewing feature, which is called M2N, and that we'll get into in the next tutorial.